What's up guys, this is Kim from Einfach Machen. In a recent video I've shared my experiences with setting up the delegated deployments as the sharing process, so sharing pipelines with users, groups or the whole organization is in my opinion not that intuitive. I wanted to share my experiences and recommendations with you in this video. First of all, what is our user story? So we are still the admin who wants to enable users to use the Power Platform pipelines, but to also properly share the pipelines with a user or a group or organization wide. So what is usually the challenge after setting up these pipelines? I mentioned it in a step in my recent video. Uh, nevertheless, I think uh, the option I've mentioned there is not the best option. So I wanted to share some alternatives with you. The users with an environment Rego role do not automatically have access to the pipelines or who to have the needed privileges, the needed security role to access these pipelines. So this is the usual dialogue a user without the appropriate role and the appropriate access gets when launching the Power Platform pipelines. The one thing is we have a missing security role. I will dive into this in a second. And the second one is I, as a maker, have not the access to the pipeline itself. So to the pipeline record, it's nothing else than a Dataverse record in a table called deployment pipeline. First of all, let's have a look at the lack of a security role. So after installing the Power Platform Pipeline solution, there are basically three roles installed on your environment. First of all, the deployment admin, the deployment default and deployment user. The one we will focus on today is the deployment pipeline user because this is the role usual Power Platform maker needs to run pipelines that you have created for them. Comparing these two roles, so the deployment pipeline user together with our deployment pipeline maker, they are not that different, but they have some different level of permissions, especially regarding these tables, which are responsible for handling all this pipelining stuff. And the second thing is uh, that the maker just needs to have access to the specific role. So if I look into my Dataverse table as an admin, so with this account, I can see here is the pipeline record, which I also use in my deployment pipeline. So this one. And if I switch to my environment maker and have a look at the exactly same table, then you can see here, I do not have access to view this data. And I also cannot have access to the specific role because it was not shared with me in a process. So what we will cover in this video are different approaches to sharing these uh, security role or assigning this security role and sharing the specific pipeline record in a six step process. We will start with creating an enter ID group in which we will collect all our makers for the specific environment. Uh, we will also create a business unit and connect this to our enter ID group. And we will create a team below this business unit and connect it to the enter ID group. After this, we will assign the deployment pipeline users role to our newly created Entra group or Power Platform team. We could also assign the security role to a single user. After this, uh, the first error we've seen here will disappear because uh, we, this moment in time, we will already have access to the tables. But what is missing still, you can see it here, the access to the record is still missing. So we need to access the record in a second step. And this is sharing the pipeline record. Also here we have the option to say share it with a single user with the whole organization, or I also thought it should be possible to share it with an enter ID group. I had some issues with that. So let's start with our first step. First of all, let's start with a quick and dirty version, but I wouldn't recommend this to you, especially if you want to manage multiple users, multiple environments. So I'm in the account of Marie. She's the maker on our dev environment. And now I want to go to the pipelines and start a pipeline. And I got this error that there's a missing privilege and I can't see the pipeline record. So quick and dirty would be to switch to our admin account, which is my account, Kim at Mofa Shoppen, and switch to the admin center, go to our users. And here we can see Marie and go on Marie's security roles, search for deployment pipeline user, click on share, click on save, switch into Marie's account, do a refresh. And now we're done with the first step because the error is already gone. So there's no missing privilege. She has access to the table, but she still does not have access to the specific record. So switch again back to our admin account, start the deployment pipeline configuration app, go on your pipelines, click on the specific pipeline, click on share, click on manage access. And now we can give a single user access to this environment. Ah, uh, sorry, 
to this pipeline. Click on share, switch back to Marie, do another refresh. And there it is. You can see the pipeline and now she can run the pipeline. This is a very manual way managing this uh, access to security role and to the database records. So I want to show you a proper way using security groups and Power Platform business units. Let's start with our first step, creating the Enter ID group for our environment users. Therefore, we will switch into our admin account, get the name of the environment, switch into the Azure portal. You can use portal.azure.com, look for groups. And here you can create a new group of kind security. And I will name this group like my environment and put after it maker and deployer. I would also add an appropriate description and I will also add an owner. So my admin account is the primary owner. And here I can now add members and start with my maker, Marie. And this is the only point where I later need to manage memberships or what I can leverage is a functionality of Microsoft Azure called dynamic rules or dynamic membership rules for enter ID groups. So I can create different kind of rules to put people into this group. For example, if an account is created in the department with sales, then the person is automatically added can also use functionalities to add members based on a specific plan. So for example, if someone gets assigned a Power Apps Power Automate Premium plan, they can be added into this group. And the next step, we will create a business unit and later connect it with our Entry ID security group. Therefore, we switch into the admin center of your Power Platform, go into your dev environment, select business units on the right side, now we have one business unit, which is uh, created by default for the whole environment. We will create a new business unit. I will give it the same name like the security group, just with a prefix security group. Parent business unit is our default business unit and click on save. Now we will create a team below this business unit and connect it to our intro ID security group. Therefore, we go back into our environment settings, click on teams. The business unit we've created has also created a default team for this business unit. So I will create a new team, choose the team name, put a prefix team before this, select the security group business unit that I've just created, select my power platform admin as the admin and select Microsoft Enter ID security group as team type. Now I can look for my security group, select this security group, which I've created in the Enter ID and click on next. And now I can assign a security role. So these people should be able to deploy our solutions using the deployment pipeline users role. And they should also be an environment maker. So I select these two roles and click on save. And since my maker Marie already is member of this group, when I switch to my maker account and do a refresh on this side, as you can see, there's no error, but we still have the issue with the pipeline record, which I want to share in the last step. So zooming out of our process, we're almost done with uh, managing access to Power Platform pipelines. The last step we need to do is share the specific pipeline record. Therefore, we switch into our pipeline configuration app, go to our pipelines, select the pipeline we've created. And on the right side, we see the share icon. And here we click on manage access. And now by clicking enter into the search field, here are several recommendations for sharing the record in the first step I will just show you again the version sharing the record only with a specific person I click on share and I will put that window on the right do a refresh and now you can see Marie has access because I have given her the read access I again remove this access and now you can see she can't access the pipeline anymore the second version I want to show you is if you want to give everyone in the specific dev environment where your pipelines are also hosted access to these pipelines you can just select the parent business unit if we go a step back you can see here we were in the dev environment and we had the business units and here was the default or parent business unit for the whole environment which also has a corresponding team which is called the same so if i now want to give everyone in the dev environment access to this record i can just search for the organization select this one click on read and click on share and now when doing a refresh with the account of marie you will see that now she and everyone else who has access to this environment can use the pipeline so this is the second way you can handle access to the pipeline so the last sharing option again needs some configuration 
First time I thought when managing access through these teams, I must also be able to see this team which I've created, which is of team type Microsoft Intro ID Security Group. But when looking for team or looking for dev, there are no records found within this lookout. So I can't find this team, team security group, dev delegated deployments live, no matter how I am searching this stuff. After reading some documentation from Microsoft, I found this article that tells us when manually assigning a record or sharing a record, using the built-in form, the default option lists doesn't pick some group types such as Microsoft Entro ID. So I was a bit confused but if you go into your environment and search for the team table select the team table go on the views so this is the table where all your teams are in and as you can see here is the team I've created based on the Microsoft Enter ID security group click on views and there is a teams lookup view select this one and now I can edit filters and what I will find here that team type must always be equal to owner. So this is the reason why these records are not showing up. To be able to see also teams are created based on an office group or a security group in Entra, I have to add these as a filter. So I will add these two options. And when typing here, you can see here's the office group and the Entra security group. I click on OK. And you can see the filter has already changed. Now my team is showing up here click on save and publish and I also do a refresh on this site so in my pipeline configuration app and put on the left side my admin account and on the right side my maker account again I've reset it all the settings so that Marie by default does not have access to the pipeline record and now in the final step I want to use the Entra ID group to manage access and now when I click on enter you will see here's the new team appearing now because I've changed the filter for the default lookup. So select this team, click on read access, click on share. And because Marie is part of this team, I've created below an own business unit. She now has also access to the pipeline. And there it is. So that's it. Three options to manage the access. I think managing it through an Entra ID group might be the best way. Nevertheless, it's again a bit of a hassle, I think, and a bit of configuration. I will link to this uh, article I found on how to edit the filter and the team table below this video. I hope you find this content helpful and enjoyed the video. Thanks again and see you the next time.